Good morning, guys. Captain Charisma here. I am in front of Box Lunch right now. I am waiting for them to open. I honestly have no idea if they got anything. Um, not expecting for them to get anything, but I was here early, so just thought I'd, I'd wait, see if they get something cool. All right, let, I'll let you guys know. Later. What's up guys? Just saw in a post that uh, this Toys R Us had some glow in the dark Sonics. So I'm gonna go see if I can find him later. Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday, right after President's Day, and uh, just thought I'd come to Hot Topic to see if they actually have anything good, because uh, a lot of new pops should be dropping soon. I know Jurassic Park is starting to hit stores. Uh, I know the Royal Pops are starting to hit stores. Uh, I know Stranger Things Pops are start starting to hit stores. So there's a bunch of stuff out there. Um, I still need uh, Mr. Bean for myself. And uh, let's see what they have. As you can see behind me, they are opening up a ton of boxes. So hopefully something good in those boxes, guys. I'll, I'll let you guys know and I'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye. So they didn't really get anything I want right now, um, which is okay. So I'll try to hit up Target since I'm here and then uh, go over to Box Lunch and see if they have anything. Alright guys, later. Good morning, YouTube. Captain Charisma here in front of Hot Topic. Hella early, and that is because everything has dropped. What do I mean? Everything has dropped. Lord of the Rings, Rick and Morty, Stranger Things, Royal Pops, and Jurassic Park. I kind of knew everything's been dead for like a couple of weeks, and now everything's hitting at the same time. So here I am in front of Hot Topic, ready to get something good. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to decide what I want. It's, it's cool to have options, I just kinda wish everything didn't drop on the same day, but it's fun, it makes it exciting. All right, talk to you guys later, bye. So they have Morty Chase, Jurassic Park Chase, and Princess Diana Chase, so I am trying to figure out which one I'm gonna get. I will let you guys know later. <laughs> Good morning YouTube, Captain Charisma here, and we are at part two of Everything is Dropping at Hot Topic. That's right, Lord of the Rings, Stranger Things, Game of Thrones, everything's dropping. And today, they are unboxing some stuff, 
I have no idea what they're gonna have, but I do know some of the other hot topics in the area. Got things like Stranger Things Star Chase, and they got, um, they got Gollum. I'm looking for Gollum. Lewis is looking for Gollum. So, um, hopefully they have Gollum. If not, hopefully they have Stranger Things. Hopefully they have something. So, uh, I'll let you guys know what I get. Peace. Good morning, guys. Captain Charisma here. So it looks like I will be getting Gollum, and uh, pretty excited about that because that's the one that I wanted the most. Also with me, we have Salty J in the building. What's up, guys? What are you getting, Salty? Uh, Gollum. That's all they have. So. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I want him. I love Lord of the Rings, so pretty excited about that. Awesome. I'll let you guys see Gollum once we get out of here. Peace, guys. Only 15 more minutes until it opens. Looks like I'm going to be going with Gollum. <laughs> What's up guys? We're actually returning some Black Panthers to Target right now because uh, my boy Salty J ordered two of them and uh, they came pretty beat up. Why don't you tell us about it? So I like to order, you know, maybe one or two more just in case. In case they come damaged, and these did. Bugs Bunny came uh, in good condition, but these did not. They have creases all over the back. They have, looks like one has a burnt face, and the other has some sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's on it. <laughs> and it looks like they opened them and vandalized them and then put them back in the box. And then, as Captain Charisma knows, I'm very picky with my boxes. There's a couple creases, so these aren't gonna do. I gotta return them. So we're gonna go to Target and try to return them right now. What's up, guys? After a long, very long wait at Hot Topic, uh, we hit up Box Lunch as well. And we went to Target. Um, my boy Salty J was able to return the um, Black Panthers that were extremely damaged so he got all his money back and you know including sipping and all that stuff so he was able to exchange them so if you guys did get bad Black Panthers that you ordered from Target make sure you guys return them to your nearest Target uh, but just let you guys see what I picked up uh, I got three pops so one of them was this came out today which was Daenerys I've been wanting her um, love game of thrones and then cool. buffy the vampire slayer so two strong blonde women and huh? i got Gollum. so two blondes and a freak my precious anyways he looks awesome uh, as soon as i saw this guy i had to get a Gollum pop and now let me let you guys see what salty j got what? he also got Gollum. Salty, why don't you let us know what you picked up today? Okay, I got Gollum. No, I'm just kidding. So, if you want to look on the dash, this is my collection from today. It's got some Ready Player One, Teen Titan Go, um, Gollum Chase, Daenerys, and Parzival from Ready Player One. So I, I picked up Lucio real quick from Target. They had about 20 of them. Looks like they're gonna start stocking these uh, cute but deadly figures. I'm a huge, huge Overwatch fan and huge uh, player I play on PS4. Um, but I got Starfire for my daughter and, and the rest for me. Oh, I also picked up a gym with Gnome. This is for my daughter too. She loves the show Troll Hunters, so. Um, it was a good day. We got a lot of good stuff. I don't know where I'm gonna put this stuff uh, <laughs> But we we got it. So uh, it was another fun camp out with uh, Captain Charisma and uh, we were hanging out with a buddy Cutthroat Joe. So always good times when it's uh, good people. So Thank you Captain Charisma <laughs> You're welcome, and thank you guys for watching. Um, and also Salty was or able to order the Black Panther glow in the dark Walmart exclusives for me, so I will be getting one soon. So thank you so much and thank you guys for watching you guys have an awesome day I'll see you next time. Peace What's up YouTube Captain Charisma here 
Thank you for watching my channel and today I want to go over everything that I got this week. This was an awesome week. I got a ton of stuff. I'm going to go over everything that I got and every Sunday is really when I'm going to be doing my weekly haul. So, you know, I'm going to try to have a video every Sunday and you'll be able to see everything I got for the week. I do have an ECC video that I will also be posting this week right on time for ECC so I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'll be going over everything that I'm looking for, all that good stuff. Um, I did have an opportunity to get a few things this week, but I had to pick between one taste or another taste. So things that I'm still looking for is that Jurassic Park uh, dinosaur taste. I'm, I'm definitely going to be trying to get that. I'm still looking for that Princess Diana taste. Um, I want that Mr. Bean taste. I still don't actually have it. We should be getting Mr. Bean tomorrow, as well as I should be getting the Night King on the Dragon tomorrow as well. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. Um, as you guys saw, I'm not going to get into this too much, but I got the Porg. You guys all saw me get that Porg. I took him out of the box. He kind of wanted to be free, so uh, he is going to be floating around my room somewhere. I'm going to try to put him in a different place all the time. Maybe bring him to my office, have him hanging out there. But yeah, I got, a, I got this guy at Target. There was a bunch of them just sitting there. And uh, I picked one up for me and one for my friend Salty as well. Another pop that I got, uh, my business partner actually went to L.A. And whilst he was at the airport in L.A., uh, she found this for me. Scooby-Doo was actually the pop that I got that started my collection. There he is. So now I'm going to have Scooby-Doo. Um, now I'm going to have Saggy with him. So uh, I'm going to open this up. And he's got some Scooby Snacks. I actually never seen him in stores, believe it or not, so I'm definitely glad to have him as part of my collection. Um, then, um, as you guys saw from the video, uh, I got a couple of uh, pops at Hot Topic, and two of them that I got were the Daenerys and Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So these are two women from two of my favorite TV shows, like two of my favorite female characters in television. So let's go ahead and start opening these up. There's Daenerys and her braid is the most awesome part of this. Um, check it out. That's pretty amazing. This is really well made. And this is a figure from the last season of Game of Thrones. Very cool. It's going to go great with my other Game of Thrones pops. And uh, let's go ahead and get Buffy opened up as well. She's actually pretty detailed as well. Obviously not as detailed as Daenerys' braid, but she's actually very detailed too. It's got her crossbow here for, you know, hunting vampires, obviously. Awesome. Really happy to have these two. Uh, two of my, like I said, these are two of my tele favorite TV shows of all time. Um, you know, I always try to get as much Game of Thrones pops as I can. And I'm really going to try to get the new Buffy line that just came out. I have a few of the older ones that I want to get as well. Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer is one of my grails, so I'd hope to get him eventually one day, but... Cool. Moving on, um, I know I kind of teased this in one of my last videos. Um, I, you know, you guys have seen it around in my last videos, but I got this guy. This guy's awesome. Um, so I have to give a big, big thank you to uh, my good friend Salty J. Um, please guys go subscribe to him on Instagram, follow him on Instagram, he's a great guy, he's a big Funko Pop collector as well, and, um, you know, he surprised me with this, cause, you know, I kinda gave him the heads up, that they were in one of the Targets, and there was a few over there, so, um, I wasn't able to go, and he drove, uh, he drove pretty far, uh, in order to get this for me, and there was only one left, so, I was like, hey, man, at least you got it. And then, um, you know, we met up, 
And he just gave it to me, like, no, I can't take that, that's yours. And he's like, no, I want you to have it. So um, he definitely <laughs> did not have to do this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for doing that. On top of that, he also um, ordered the Black Panther Glow in the Dark from Walmart. That one will be on its way to me too, so I'm going to have both of them. So super excited to have this, guys, and he's very detailed. Haven't seen him glow just yet, but... Um, from what I've seen, he glows pretty awesomely. And then as you guys saw, if you guys didn't see my unboxing video, go check it out. But I got this from Nelson Lemus, another very awesome guy. And uh, he did not have to do this at all. He just sent this to me just because he wanted to help me out. Uh, he went out of his way to get this for me. So I do appreciate it. It's something that I've been looking for for a very long time as well. Came out back in SDCC. As you know, I'm a Game of Thrones fan. So I'm very happy to have this guy in my collection as well. Thank you, Nelson. And through the hunting this week, I got some some awesome chases. So I was the first in line back-to-back uh, -back days at Hot Topic. So I kind of had my pick. Um, you know, so the first day was between Princess Diana, Morty, and the Jurassic Park chase, and I went with Morty. I ended up taking him home with me. A lot of people really want this guy. And then, um, from one of my favorite movies of all time, um, from the Lord of the Rings movies, is this guy. My precious. I can't really do the voice, man. But he's awesome. I got the taste of him. I probably want to get a few more pops in this line. I definitely want to get that tree beard. I'm going to get that guy as well. Uh, I believe it's a six-inch tree beard. So, um, yeah, only difference between this one and the common is he's, he's holding a little fist right there. But still, it's Gollum. It's cool. Love Gollum. Uh, one of the best characters in all the movie cinema. Um, definitely the best, probably, CGI character ever made in, in a movie. But uh, very happy to have this guy as part of my collection. I definitely worked. <laughs> Had to be up early to get this guy and the Morty as well. But wait, there's more. So yesterday, um, I did go to a trade uh, event at Elusive Comics. And I honestly didn't have too much to trade. I pretty much trade as I go, so I don't normally have too many duplicates lying around. Like, you know, I'll, I'll pick something up cause, uh, to try to help someone out, and then, you know, we'll trade. So I don't normally keep very many duplicates or many things I don't want around. I'm very selective with what I get. But I did have some stuff to trade, and uh, my girlfriend actually uh, had some stuff to trade. So big thank you to my girlfriend for actually helping me get some of these pops because she used some of her pops to help me trade. I'm going to start with these two guys from Breaking Bad. Jesse Pinkman and Walter White. Breaking Bad. One of the greatest television shows of all time. I kind of got late on, on that boat. You know, I probably started watching um, right before the end of the last season. I just binge watched all of them. So I wasn't like watching from the very beginning, but nonetheless, I thought it was a great show. I really like it. It's definitely one of the top 10 best shows of all time, in my opinion. Um, and I didn't have any from Breaking Bad. I always wanted them, and I was able to trade uh, one pop for these two guys. And they look pretty cool. So looking at the back, I'd love to get some of these other ones. Like Heisenberg in his... Um, the Heisenberg with the hat, uh, the Walt Walter White in his underwear, uh, the Gus Fring, Gus Fring is really cool. So there's a lot of really cool pops in this line. There's not too many to get, and you know I don't think they're really that expensive any of them, except for maybe the Gus Fring dead one. But other than that, I don't think they're too high in value yet. So I'm definitely gonna look around and see if I can find some more of these guys. But yeah, uh, again, I'm glad to have some of these in my collection as well. And then the last pop I got, I uh, actually got this uh, for a friend. Um, and he's a big Dragon Ball Z fan. And he obviously helped me. He's the one that helped me get the Black Panther and the Killmonger. Uh, so um, I traded something to get this guy for him. 
and that is the Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku. Glows in the dark, he loves glow in the dark pop, so I picked this up for him. As soon as I see him, I'm gonna go ahead and give this to him, but it's still a cool pop, like, I mean, I think all these Dragon Ball Z pops are extremely cool looking, I just honestly don't know that much about it, but still, it's cool, uh, so I picked that up for him. So, not a bad week at all. Uh, really glad with all the pops that I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I definitely put a lot of time, effort into it. So thank you guys for watching this. Um, make sure you guys do thumbs up the video. Comment down below what you like, what you're looking for, what pops that I got that you like. Um, yeah, I, I love to hear comments. I try to respond to as many comments as I can. So I love when people comment down below. So uh, I wanted to talk about two giveaways really quick. So Bat Dan Jumpman is doing a giveaway that if you subscribe to me and uh, you subscribe to Roman Noodles, he's going to be giving out a chase. So make sure that you guys uh, subscribe to Roman Noodles. I'll put his link down below. Um, and make sure you guys are also subscribed to Bat Dan Jumpman so you can participate in the giveaway. Um, you know, go in and check out what the giveaway is if you're not already subscribed to his channel. And looks like I just got over 250 subscribers, which I'm completely overwhelmed with. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And I will be doing a giveaway very soon as well. And since ECCC is right around the corner, what I'll do is I'm going to get some pops. You know, maybe one or two pops from there that I'll use in my giveaway. So I'm not sure what I'm going to give away yet, but it'll be a pop from ECCC. So stay tuned for that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a great day. Have a great week. Happy hunting, everyone. And as always, guys, you know the drill. Send me your socks, guys.